Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we're taking an in-depth look at the Creality K1 SE 3D printer, and before you make a choice on your next 3D printer, you need to watch this. We've done comprehensive research to bring you everything you need to know, and you'll find the link to the best price in the description below. So you clicked on this video to learn about the Creality K1 SE and we're going to cover everything from price and performance to real-world usage scenarios. Let's dive right in and get started. The standout feature of the Creality K1 SE is its remarkable 12x speed advantage with the Core XY system, reaching an exceptional maximum speed of 600 mm per s with 20,000 mm SES iscalid acceleration. This makes it 12 times faster than conventional 3D printers, while maintaining outstanding print quality. The lightweight and agile Core XY architecture inherited from the K1 series delivers professional-grade performance that's perfect for both hobbyists and small businesses who need rapid prototyping capabilities. Additionally, the K1 SE features the same flagship reliable extruder as the K1C model, equipped with a newly added side spring and ball plunger system. This innovative design feeds filaments precisely without any slacking, and remarkably it can handle not just regular filaments but also flexible TPU materials. The integrated runout sensor accurately detects material shortages, effectively reducing filament waste and preventing those frustrating misdetection issues that plague other printers. The durable tri-metal nozzle paired with the powerful 60W hot and represents another impressive technical achievement. Achievement. The steel-tipped copper nozzle integrated with a titanium alloy heat break blocks heat creep effectively and can be swapped super easily for maintenance. Moreover, the ceramic heater achieves ultra-fast heating from 0 to 300 degrees Celsius in just 75 seconds, with the encircling design fully melting ABS and other challenging filaments for exceptional high-speed printing performance. Furthermore, the K1 SE's solid frame utilizes die-cast aluminum alloy parts for maximum rigidity. The integrated die-casting process combined with corner gussets and crossbeams on both sides reinforces the entire structure. This engineering approach effectively reduces vibration during high-speed operation, ensuring more stable prints even at maximum velocity settings. One of the most user-friendly features is the one-click auto calibration system. Simply give it a tap and walk away. The K1 SE handles all the Z-offset adjustments automatically. This eliminates the frustrating manual leveling work with calibration paper that's typically required with other printers, making it perfect for beginners and experienced users alike. The out-of-the-box experience is truly outstanding. The K1 SE arrives pre-assembled and pre-tuned, ready for plug-and-play operation. The boot-up guide mirrors a smartphone setup process, taking you from unboxing to your first print in just three minutes. This accessibility makes it ideal for educational settings, small businesses, or anyone who wants to start printing immediately. The anti-vibration technology deserves special mention, featuring a dynamically balanced part cooling fan that produces minimal vibrations. Combined with active input shaping algorithms, this eliminates ringing and surface artifacts that typically appear on high-speed prints, resulting in professional quality outputs every time. The open-source Creality OS based on Clipper firmware enables advanced functions like linear advance and input shaping. Tech-savvy users can customize settings or join the vibrant open-source community to explore additional capabilities. Additionally, Creality Cloud provides a diverse, convenient all-in-one 3D printing platform for model sharing and remote printing management. However, one notable downside some users may find is the printer's size and weight, due to its robust construction. At this performance level, the K1 SE requires dedicated desk space and isn't as portable as smaller entry-level printers, which might be a consideration for users with limited workspace. You got it. So that's it for the best speed-focused 3D printer on the market for this year. Like this video if it helped, comment if you're gonna buy it or share your impressions, and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth reviews.